look at this fucking parking lot. This parking lot is basically full. I've never seen it so full the whole entire time I've been going here. Look at this place. There are fucking cars everywhere. It's so packed in there. Uh... All right, good morning. It's the first day of the first week of DTP training and I was 198 this morning. Um, so I guess, well, it's probably because I ate a whole bunch of pizza on Friday, which uh, tends to kind of hang around for a few days after I eat it. So I should be back down to one night or maybe I'll stay at one night. Maybe I'll stay at 198, get this stupid thing off. Who knows? Um, I was running late this morning, so I got the girls ready and got their lunches packed and we got out the door and I dropped them off and then I had to go from there straight to the beautiful gym so I could do legs. Um, I'm not as sweaty as uh, I thought I'd be, but my fucking legs are dying. They're dying. They were like shaking on the way out the door. I'm like, oh great, tomorrow should be fun as we're lifting up a whole bunch of heavy fucking furniture. So yeah, legs went great. Um, still having a hard time breathing. Uh, I'm gonna have to make sure that I use my inhaler before I come to do workouts like this so that I don't pass out in the middle of my workout like an idiot. Yeah, because that was super intense. Like by the time I was done, cause I did a super set uh, as I was just sitting on um, the leg press. I just did my high wide and then right after my 50, I jumped down and did my next little bit, the low ones. There's people. There were so many people in there. So that, and then I did my uh, narrow, low stance ones, and uh, did my 50, and then I went back up into 40, and then back down into 40, and I just did a giant ass superset. Um, and then I did my leg curls, and then I had to walk some of it off anyway, so that then there was somebody, literally somebody on every fucking leg extension machine in there when I went to use it. So I just walked around for about like probably like three or four minutes and then somebody hopped off. I was like, oh, you mind if I jump in here? And they were like, no, no, go ahead. They're really nice about it. So then I got to get onto my leg extension and bang those out. Um, yeah, so they're super shaky. Um, and this is, oh yeah, good good morning, it's Monday. <laughs> this is my intro. Um, I couldn't do an intro this morning because we were just like really far behind. The girls were kind of meh and grumpy. Um, this is probably because they were up all weekend long. So I just kind of had them hang out for a bit while I pack lunches and then, um, we got, we, I had to get their lunches ready, their dry clothes packed, just in case we have a splash pad, their towels packed, their water bottles, their change of mass, and I was just super procrastinator yesterday. Uh, yeah, because I just, like, after we were done cleaning, I'm like, I don't want to do any more. And then we had to do more because I had to go grab a few groceries, so I had enough to send them for school. So we went and we got, um, like, a cart full of groceries, and then I was like, you know what? I've had enough of doing this, uh, this stuff that I have to do. And then we went to the park for over an hour and we just played and they went in the splash pad and they just kind of hung out and played on the swings. And yeah, I was just sick of doing the whole adult parenting thing. So we went and did the whole fun dad kid thing because that's actually what I would rather be doing instead of doing cleaning and other stuff. I'm fucking sweating. Not as bad as I thought it'd be. I thought I'd be drenched. So yeah, um, for the leg press, I only got up to 110 pounds, which is actually like really fucking light, but I need to be able to walk tomorrow. And uh, it, it what, it's light usually to what I do, but it was felt really fucking heavy because I've just been using the same weights over and over and over again in the basement. So I really haven't had too much of a change in weight. Um, kind of glad I didn't go for squats. I probably would have puked everywhere. Uh, maybe after this, I'll try doing squats more. And then hopefully uh, after this, my knee's doing a little bit better. My knee, my shoulder, my elbow, my left knee's fucked. My right shoulder and elbow are fucked. Yeah, so I'm, I'm just getting old. I also went through a car window when I was younger. I had the seatbelt like this behind me and I had it around my waist and we crashed on Taylor Kid into a pole. And when we crashed, I went up and through the window and the belt wrapped around my legs and pulled me back through. So I kind of have a little bit of, um, yeah, kind of a little bit of uh, knee and shoulder and elbow problems from the car accident, but whatever. I, I love the train. So sometimes it's not good, but we just train through the pain and get moving and motivated. So yeah, so today went really, I'm actually having a really good day, which was nice because on the weekend I was kind of grumpy and not feeling the greatest. I was uh, kind of a little bit dizzy. It happens sometimes when I get super stressed out and I don't really know why I'm super stressed out lately. It's probably just everything is, 
that was going on with childcare and Ontario Works and all that other fun stuff and work and we were almost late one day and yeah so I think I just had myself a little bit too stressed out last week but this I'm feeling great today and the gym always helps and makes me feel better so yeah um, I'm not quite sure what else to say thank you for listening to me ramble I guess it's sometimes oh and sometimes it's nice to hop on here and just kind of ramble and go on and on and on about how, how I'm feeling and all that other stuff and I know nobody really watches I've got like uh, like uh, one subscriber that's not actually the kids or my nephew so I've got four subscribers um, one's one's my nephew two of them are my kids and one's um, a girl who subscribed to me so that's nice uh, she, she'll like comment every once in a while and be like you're doing great and I'm like hey thank you that's actually really nice so yeah sometimes I don't feel like I'm doing the greatest sometimes I kind of feel like a crappy parent because of feel like I clean a lot and I work a lot and I don't have enough time to go and play like we always used to do so like for like five or six years we were going to the park every day we just played all the time and now I'm kind of a little bit more tired here and there because I work all the time and I train and and I just feel bad sometimes I'm like can we go to the park I'm like no dad's tired and they're really not used to hearing the no dad's tired so then I get a little bit of attitude because it was just years of just fuck it let's do it let's go fucking play and then literally like that, yeah, fuck it, let's go play. They know I swear a lot. I swear like a trucker or a sailor or whatever you want to call me. I would actually probably swear worse than both put together some days. Um, yeah, so besides that, um, I'm off. I didn't even get to eat breakfast this morning, so I got to make sure if I'm going to go to the gym, I'm not training on an empty stomach, so I'm not pulling amino acids from my muscle to use for the workout. I want to make sure that um, I'm actually like have something floating around in my system. Even if I have to, I guess, buy branch chain amino acids to drink in the morning. That way, yeah, I'm not pulling from my muscle to break down for the workout. So I'm off to home. I'm going to go off and uh, I've only got, I still have to make my eggs. I've only got a couple meals made for today. And then I got to get cooking for the next few days. Um, I have a training session booked for Wednesday. And I think I'm going to go Thursday. Well, uh, I might go, um, I might just do Saturday, Sunday, Monday and say, fuck it if i can get a saturday if not oh they're up to 100 people now so i actually might be able to yeah they're from 50 to 100 people so it might be easier um to get a saturday spot so if i can't get a saturday spot they'll be coming in thursday i don't really want to come in friday and make people get up early on family day or family night or whatever so yeah um hopefully it'll be well i have wednesday so i got today i got wednesday hopefully it'll be saturday sunday and then i'm not sure what's going on for Mondays yet with work some days we work some days we don't I really rather just be working every Monday that way we have a little bit of extra money so yeah um, I'm not gonna be doing a Wednesday check-in I'm just gonna start uploading more videos of the kids and then I'm gonna um, so yeah I'm not gonna be doing a Wednesday check-in I'll be doing Fridays and Mondays kind of let you know how the week's going gonna go and kind of let you know at the end of the week how my week went so this week actually is like a bit of a calmer week which is nice because most of my weeks are just fucking insane all the time so i actually don't have appointments the kids don't have appointments um i just have work so hopefully it can be more work and play this week um i'm only doing four days at the gym and hopefully two of them will be on the weekend and if not then i'm just gonna take any days i can so that'll make it a little bit easier for us instead of me trying to squeeze in a workout when i get home and it takes away from time from time with us and I don't really want to take away from time with us I'd really I really like spend time with them so I like getting up in the morning and uh, sneaking out and then you just come back and wake everybody up because I guess code is old enough to babysit so that makes things a lot easier for her just kind of watch them every once in a while for me um, I don't like her watching them for the full days or for after school or anything like that because it's too hard on her so yeah I, if I can slip out in the morning while everyone's still sleeping then sneak back uh, that's kind of nice but um, other than that, uh, yeah, that's it. Um, just kind of hanging out for the day. I'll let you know how the day's going. Uh, maybe a little bit later if I can. If not, I'm almost at my 10 minute mark anyways. And uh, I can only do a 15 minute video. So maybe I get a little check in just to say peace <laughs> with all the little cute faces. And yeah, that's it. Uh, everybody have a great day. I'm Audi. Peace. All right, so I'm about to cook some rice, sweet potatoes, and red peppers in there. Oh, there we go, there we go. Now we're cooking. Um, I've already got some hamburger made over here, and these will be my meals. So I have one cup of rice, one cup of spinach that's steamed, 
four egg whites and four whole eggs. I'll eat that with three baby carrots and ten almonds, but I won't put those in yet because they'll go all weird. And we don't want weird. It already kind of goes a little weird after you put the spinach in there. Um, I steam up the spinach because so it's nice and soft and cooked. And then for my next meal, I have one cup of rice, one half of red pepper, and one cup of spinach, six ounces of hamburger. Uh, for the meal after that, I've got three fourths of a cup of rice, one cup of spinach, five ounces of hamburger, and then five, there we go, five ounces of chicken broth. Chicken broth is supposed to be good for digestion, so we put that in there. Um, for the meal after that, we've got one small sweet potato, no rice, that's why we add the sweet potato. So, one small sweet potato, one half a red pepper, one cup of spinach, and that's it for that one. <coughs> oh god, you're on a virus. Uh, for the meal after that, I've got half a cup of rice, um, six ounces of hamburger, and I'll eat that with Greek yogurt so it's easy to digest and keeps me full throughout the night. So yeah, so I've just kind of been throwing together meals over here. See? That way I'm a little bit ahead for this week. And then I'm going to freeze the rest of the, the big bowl of hamburger that I don't use. That way it's easier to make my meals later this week. And actually I'm going to take out some more hamburger after. And um, and yeah, and defrost it so I can cook it tomorrow and freeze it so that I'm even more ahead. So yeah, so there's a little bit of my meals. Sorry if I messed up on anything. I have a tendency of doing that. Oh, look at that. Cupboards are open, but that one's my fault. Well, that one's not my fault. I don't know. All right, so that is it for me for the day. Um, now I have dishes and and um, stuff to put away. Uh, this just finished, so I'm going to let it sit for a little bit. I got the other meals put away so they don't dry out. I'm going to get make it up. Uh, 10 more meals, I guess, and uh, take out some hamburger, and then I'm gonna hang out with the kids for a bit. And then we'll go get the babies, and I'm not quite sure what else we're doing for the day. So, um, that's my Monday check in. I hope you maybe enjoyed. Nobody ever watches these interviews. <laughs> so, yeah, so um, I'm just gonna get my butt moving here, and let's do this. This is always fun. I'm out! <laughs>